in the first problem consider the boolean function f f is the boolean function with four variables w x y and z we have four variables in function f this is the given logic expression which one of the following is the complete set of essential prime implicants so we have to find out essential prime implicants for the function f i will draw 16 cell k map to find out essential prime implicants we are making 16 cell k map because we have four variables w x y and z are the four variables in which w is the msb most significant bit and z is the lsb least significant bit i will quickly draw the 16 cell k map then we will find out the essential prime implicants after making the k map i will fill the k map by using the logic expression given in the problem the function f is equal to w and y or x and y or w complement and x and y and z or w complement and x complement and y or x and z or x complement and y complement and z complement this is the given logic expression and from the first product term from the first product term we can see w is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 i will call this row first row i will call this row second row in the same way these two are the third and fourth rows respectively i will call this column first column i will call this column second column in the same way we have third and fourth columns w is equal to 1 for third and fourth rows you can see w is equal to 1 in third and fourth rows because we have w not w complement y is equal to 1 for third and fourth columns so we have 1 we have 1 in these four cells because for this four cells w and y both are equal to 1 from the second product term x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 for second and third rows y is equal to 1 for third and fourth columns so we have 1 in these four columns we already had 1 in these two columns so there is no need to write 1 again in the same way we will fill the k map using the third fourth fifth and sixth product terms and once you fill the k map it will look something like this in order to find out essential prime implicants we need to make group of ones first i will combine these four ones the four ones at the corner and i will call it i will call it p1 this group is p1 then i will combine this eight ones and let's say this group is p2 after this i will combine these two ones like this and I will call this group P3 so the function f the function f is simply equal to P1 or P2 or P3 from P1 from P1 we have X complement Z complement from P2 we have X and Z from P3 we have Y so this is what we have from this k map and now we have to find out whether p1 p2 and p3 are essential prime implicants or not we will call prime implicants essential prime implicants when one or more ones cannot be combined in any other way if we talk about p1 then this one cannot be combined in any other way so p1 p1 is essential prime implicant and if we talk about p2 then you can see in this group this one cannot be combined in any other way so p2 p2 is also essential prime implicant and in case of p3 these two ones cannot be combined in any other way so p3 p3 is also essential prime implicant so the set that we have to find will have y x and z x complement and z complement this is what we have in our set and if you see the four options you will find option d is the correct option so this is all for the first problem there are more ones in first group second group and third group 
which cannot be combined in any other way but you only have to look for the single one